Hi friends and neighbors, it is Blue Wyatt and I am sharing with you some ideas and tips this week on Living Decorated. More specifically, how to paint your sofa. Who paints their sofa these days? Well, I tried it. I'm gonna give you the tips and tricks how exactly to transform or paint something that has fabric on it. The first thing that we do as we're getting ready to paint is prepare. I'd much rather just dive right in and get the paint ready and just go at it. But I do have to prepare. So I would recommend, first of all, get a paint apron because you don't want paint on your clothes. And next step is lay the plastic. I'm gonna walk you step by step how you can paint fabric with chalk paint. What I want you to do if you're gonna paint fabric is mix three parts water to one part paint. But here's what you need to get ready. Spray bottle, because you do have to spray. You have to spray all around. Get it damp before you can paint it. So you need a spray bottle. You also need sandpaper. A sandpaper block is what I use. Okay, that's it, sandpaper. Always have wet rags on hand. Okay, you're gonna do about three coats of this, so get ready, and you have to sand in between each coat. So you better be committed to do this. I'm watching the first pieces I'm so go down. Good. How do you like the lighting, babe? I love the lighting. You do? Oh my gosh. Do you gosh. see how we can buy um, battery packs? Yes. My gosh, babe, this is gonna look so good. It is gorgeous. You just gotta work it into the crevices and stuff. Oh, I love it! Oh, beautiful! It is going to change my life. Okay. It's not going to change your life. Okay, not my life, but definitely my mood. Okay. Nah, for a moment. For a moment. Okay, you're going to want to get in. If you have tufting, you're going to want to get right in there. Like, right in there. Dig in all these corners and crevices. you got to get every inch of this okay. thing. I don't know how long I've been up here working. Feels like hours and hours and hours. There is the couch with just one coat. Do you notice what I did? <gasps> the skirt. I stripped the skirt off, like totally off. It was ugly. Now I can see the legs and I can see the floor. We're modernizing this piece. I'm telling you what, it's gonna look great when we're done. Or we, me. <laughs> All right, guys, I let it soak. I ran out of paint last time, so I didn't get my first coat on the green seats cushions, but I did get all of this done. I wanted to give you a little tip. Tip of the day, if you're gonna paint your fabric, don't forget to sand. Tip number 27, don't forget to sand all of your fabric. Make sure you get it all good, but sand the whole Thing, and it gives it back that nice feeling of fabric. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm on coat number three and I think I messed up. Remember when I told you at the beginning that you mix one part paint to three parts water? I'm not great at that whole mixing thing and everything, so I think I did a little too watery in my first two coats. So I'm coming back with a stronger third coat and we'll just see how it happens. Well, I ran out of paint, so I guess I am finished with the third coat. You know, I am like done. My right arm is like, please. Don't make me do any more, please, 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 please. Didn't quite get the edges really well. I'm just gonna stop right there and be happy with what I have. After their third coat of paint, what do you gotta do? You gotta sand, brother, sand, until your arm is about to fall off, then you're probably done. But I'm not gonna whine or complain. I'm just going to celebrate the success that I have. Sanding. And I just go all over the fabric. All over the fabric. Hello, fabric to start, you have to just maybe get a mask, face mask, before you start sanding, because it will get all over the place. Just watch a couple YouTube videos and all of a sudden I feel like I can do anything. So can you. Okay, my next step, my next step is wax. I don't really know what brand you want to use, but just some kind of wax that goes with the chalk paint. It's gonna make it a lot softer. And it's gonna seal in the color. Let's get going, I'm gonna show you exactly how to wax. 
You just need a little bit on the ends, not a whole lot, and work it into the fabric. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit at a time. Don't forget to sand in between coats. Do at least three coats. Three parts water to one part wine. <laughs> three parts water to one part paint. Don't forget to wet your fabric first. Just dampen. You can do this. You can paint your fabric. Couch, chair, start with a chair. Man, my arms are numb. And there you have it. That's how you turn a sofa from green to blue or whatever color you choose. All right, that's it. Love you guys. God bless you. And there we go. I love it. It's so beautiful. <laughs>